breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Court to hear Unam De Caro's fundamental rights suit, February 28. Court to hear Unam De Caro's fundamental rights suit, February 28. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. A federal high court, Abuja, on Monday fixed February 28 to hear a fundamental right enforcement suit filed by the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypob Unamdekanu. Justice Taiwo Taiwo fixed the date after counsel to the Department of State Services. DSS Ito Awo informed the court that his client and the counter affidavit which had not been served on Kano. Hawo at the resumed hearing prayed the court for more time to effect the service of the application on Kano's lawyer, Maxwell Okpara. But, Opara described the request of the DSS lawyer as an attempt to continue to subject his client to solitary confinement and order in human treatment. He said, even though the application was dated January 28, and counsel to the DSS as his contact, it was not served her name until now. Also, the lawyer to the Attorney General of the Federation AGF, Simon Henock, informed that he had filed a motion for an extension of time to regularize the account of Avidavit. The application was neither opposed to by counsel to the IPOP leader or Quara not a DSS lawyer. Justice Taiwo would noted that the matter was coming before him for the first time, fixed the matter until February 28 for a hearing. The news agency of Nigeria NAM reports that Kano, through his lawyer, Okwara had in the suit marked FHC ABJCS 1585-2021 sued the Director General of DSS and the Office as first and second respondent respectively. He also joined the HGF as third respondent in the suit dated and filed December 13, 2021. In the originating motion, his lawyer prayed the court to declare that the respondent, while carrying out their lawful duties, should abide by the provisions of Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended and the Africa Charter on Human and People's Rights, Ratification and Enforcement Act as regards the right of citizens of Nigeria. Okpara also urged the court to declare that Kano, even though a detainee, was entitled to enjoy his freedom of thought, cautions, and religion as guaranteed by the law. He sought a declaration that the applicant, even though a detainee, is entitled to the enjoyment of his right to dignity of human person as guaranteed under Section 34.1 hey, of the 1999 Constitution as amended. A declaration that the respondent action is continuing to keep the applicant in their detention facility without transferring him to Kujie Correctional Center is subjecting the applicant to mental torture given that it is not the place designator designated 
for keeping a waiting trial inmate, among others. The lawyers then asked the court to make an order, directing the respondents to immediately allow Kano access to facility and material for the practice of his religion, and an order directing them to remove him from solitary confinement, among others. A federal high court, Abuja, on Monday, fixed February 28th to hear a fundamental right enforcement suit filed by the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Unamdekano. Justice Taiwo Taiwo fixed the date after counsel to the Department of State Services DSS Idowu Awo informed the court that his client had a counsel affidavit which had not been served on Kano. Awo had resumed the hearing prayed the court for more time to effect the service of the application on Kano's lawyer, Maxwell Okwara. Bert Okwara described the request of the DSS lawyer as an attempt to continue to subject his client to solitary confinement and order inhuman treatment. He argued that the counter affidavit by the DSS was already filed out of time. He said even though the application was dated January 28th, and counsel to the DSS as his contact, it was not served on him until now. Also, the lawyer to the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Simon Enoch, informed that he had filed a motion for an extension of time to regularize their counsel affidavit. The application was neither opposed two by counsel to the IPOP leader, Okpara, not the DSS lawyer. Justice Dao would note that the matter was coming before him for the first time fixed the matter until February 28th for hearing. The news agency of Nigeria now reports that Kanu, through his lawyer, Okpara, had in the suit marked FHC ABJCS 1585-2021 sued the Director General of DSS and the Office as first and second respondent, respectively. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.